This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, Megan Thompson with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Tips keep coming in for the teen killed in Queen Creek during a Halloween party. The police department confirms nearly 30 new tips were submitted to the department and the FBI about Preston Lord's death. The police department tells us they are closely working with the FBI in this case. There is a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. The holiday travel rush is upon us. Today is expected to be one of the busiest travel days of the entire year. We're seeing the crowds at Sky Harbor from trying to get into the airport to what the terminals are looking like inside. The TSA expects to screen 2.7 million people today all across the country. And heads up, there is a strike happening at Sky Harbor. Today will be day two for concession workers with SSP America. They're picketing at Terminal 3 over allegations of labor law violations and say automation, self-serve kiosks are threatening their jobs. You can expect long lines at St. Mary's Food Bank for the final day of the turkey food box distribution. So far, it's been a big year with families in the Valley needing that assistance for Thanksgiving. St. Mary's tells us they have helped nearly 10,000 families in two days. That's up 18% from last year and expect thousands more to pick up boxes today from 8 to 11. Phoenix police helping out the need, dropping off nearly 900 turkeys. The food bank reached its goal of 10,000 turkey donations yesterday. It is that time of year. Once again, holiday light displays are popping up all around the valley. And as usual, the Phoenix Zoo is going all out for zoo lights. This morning, our Zach Perry gives us a bird's eye view. Tis the season to be jolly. And what better way to celebrate than at the spectacular zoo lights event at the Phoenix Zoo? There are so many different things you're going to come see. It's about two thirds of our campus that we have lit up for zoo lights. So no matter which way you turn, you're going to see lights. Let's get wild for one of the Valley's favorite holiday traditions. Zoo Lights at Phoenix Zoo is bigger and brighter than ever before. With nearly 4 million lights, hundreds of dazzling displays, brand new wildlife lanterns, and the return of the tallest floating Christmas tree in North America. We have a 50-foot pixelated tree in the middle of our main lake just floating there. He's accompanied by his 12 pylon friends. We have a five minute lake show that anywhere from around the lake you watch the show, you're going to be dazzled. Enjoy this enchanting wildlife wonderland with twinkling light displays of different animals throughout the zoo. Anywhere from lions to dinosaurs to flowers to bumblebees. We cover all spectrums when it comes to the type of lights you're going to see. Take a stroll through the winding 200 foot long all immersive light tunnel. Drive through, walk through, crawl through, your decision. Then we have our giant zoo light sign. That sign is 70 feet long sitting on top of our pavilion roof. But this Christmas light display didn't just show up overnight. Well, for us, we like to start Christmas in June. So there's a crew of five of us, and we literally start putting up our Christmas lights in June to make sure it's ready for all of the folks around this time. We actually are starting planning next year's right now. Making memories and starting family traditions, one holiday season at a time. And I like to listen to the families. And listening to the oohs and ahs and them starting, it starts traditions, and then you come out here, and, and you're hooked. It becomes a family tradition. Reporting in Phoenix, Zach Perry, ABC 15 Arizona. Well, we are staying with our temperatures just above normal as we head into this afternoon. Cool start to the day, clear skies and sunshine. Winds will pick up as the clouds increase as we head into the later part of the day. 77 is what we're expecting for an afternoon high. Again, our average this time of year is about 75. But around the state, we're clear and we're dry. Temperatures not too bad. 74 in Bullhead City today. We're going to see that for Quartzsite as well. 63 for Prescott, 61 for Payson, 64 for Globe, 53 for Sholo and 54 expected in Flagstaff. Overnight temperatures 49 for Bullhead City, 33 in Prescott, 38 in Payson, 53 here in the Valley, 31 in Sholo and 21 for Flagstaff. The extended forecast Thanksgiving looking good. Temperatures going below normal and that's kind of where we stay trending into the weekend. Slight chance for some showers Friday night into your Saturday morning. Just a light sprinkle out there. Rest of the week though dry with partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the 70s. For the latest headlines, weather, and traffic, head to abc15.com or download our free ABC 15 mobile app. 
This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.